Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the beautiful lands of France here in our BBB achievement run. We just annexed Brittany and we're coring all of that land. Cost us about eh, 500 admin points, which is kind of expensive, but easy to take. He only had one ally and the ally didn't even join the war. We might as well take it, get it over with. Uh, the next war is probably going to be against Aragon, but there's no guarantees. I am looking at peacefully vassalizing Munster. And if we do that, we're going to cancel the vassalization of Leinster because uh, it's just a waste. Munster, at least, is an aggressive leader. So you can see he's fabricating on a lot of things. And the more he fabricates, the better for me. Uh, Tyrone has no allies. That's nice. I wish I could fabricate on Ireland, but you can see our sea tiles just don't go that far. If you could fabricate on Ireland from here, that'd be amazing. If this was like CK2, we could just say, uh, I want that chunk of land way over there. You can fabricate on anything, pretty much. But we can't do that here. So we're very limited, and uh, having a vassal is really the easiest way to get claims, which means you can go to war. So we need to get Munster as a vassal, then we can go to war with Tyrone, then we can eat Tyrone for ourselves, fabricate on Scotland, go to war with Scotland, who's allied to Sweden and Novgorod, go take a chunk of land from Sweden and Novgorod, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, let's continue. What was I doing with our dude? Not sure. Do we have 15 transports yet? Not yet. Ah, here we go. So we do have 20 transports now. And I believe we're constructing a few heavies. How many heavies are still building? We're building six more heavies, which will put us at 11. Okay, that should be enough heavies for now. 11 heavies was how many I had yesterday. And I think we lost two of them at some point. So we went, we went down to nine heavies, which still was the biggest fleet in the world. So 11 heavies is a good start for me. Now, if I was to declare on Aragon, who would join against me? I'm just curious here. Austria would join on my side. On Aragon's side, Portugal would join. Interesting. I thought Portugal would be too in debt to join. Hmm. Now we have a claim on the Pope, so maybe we should declare on the Pope instead. Aragon, Genoa, and Milan. What's 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 more threatening? Is Portugal and Hungary more threatening than Genoa and Milan? I don't know. Portugal's kind of busy. Portugal has... how many troops? I know Portugal's got a big navy. Portugal, 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 Portugal. It's got 10,000 troops with 5 manpower. Hungary's got 20,000 troops. Eh, it's not that big of a deal. I don't know. Anyway, we're, our limit is now 45. Let's go ahead and finish building this army. We were going to do 10 and... We we're going to do 6 and 4, so we need 2 more cav over here. Just build them right there. And then um, that'll put us at 40,000. We can have two armies of 20k, which is why I'm building 20 transports. Mm, I think we'll just stick with that, two stacks of 20. And we should start murking up at some point here. Well, we don't need to yet. We will need to at some point. Question is, when do we want to go to war with Aragon? We have our claims, right? We can't even fabricate anymore. So we have our claims. If we do that, everyone joins against us. What if we declare on the Pope? Would everyone join? Probably. Yeah, everyone joins against us. Says I have no CB. What? Oh, I never fabricated. What? <laughs> I never fabricated. All right, maybe we go for Provence instead, because <laughs> Provence is currently Provence is currently fighting England or fighting um, Savoy. No, he's fighting Burgundy. I know that's what I meant. Oh God, Munster is already on the warpath again. Wow, Munster. All right, well, hurry up and finish your war. And take you as a vassal. It looks like he still will vassalize if I declare... I mean, if he uh, fin even if he annexes Tyrone. He has no reason to decline vassalization. Which means I should lower army maintenance for now. Ah, we finished our core on Calais. Good. So now that we've cored Calais, let's take a look at our coring range. You can check your coring range by using the colonial map mode. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me. I don't know. The colonial map mode shows you your coring range. So if you go to colonial map mode, I can now mouse over parts of Denmark, let's say Schleswig. And you can see here, Schleswig's distance is 80, and my coring distance, it says colonial range, it's coring distance, trust me. My coring distance is 60, so I can core this. Can I core Midyland? No, because Midyland's port is on the other side of Yiland. Okay, what about Agder? Yes, 131. What about Bergenschuss? Yes. Sogan? No. Akershus? No. Okay, so... It looks like I can only core up to these sea tiles right here. If I go into Skagarak, I can't core. Okay. Good to know. Oh, 
Another heavy is done. Mothball. Group up. The only thing that sucks about these heavies is they're very expensive to upkeep. We're going to need them fully maintained for the war. Oh, for any war against England. Rally to Munster, huh? Oh, that could work. Look at this. Munster is currently eating... Oh, it's not that Munster. It's the other Munster, isn't it? It's the other Munster. Damn it. <laughs> Whatever. Fabricate on Kent. So as soon as Munster is done with this war here, he should start fabricating on Scotland and England, which is fine. It's going to take him as a vassal. And then I can declare on Scotland with his CB. I can declare on England with his CB too. You think I'm pronouncing the Norwegian provinces perfectly? I, I disagree. I would beg to differ. If you think I'm pronouncing it correctly, then clearly your understanding of pronunciation is uh, incorrect. All right, we can take up our military now. It's nice. Oh, Hungary just went to war with the Ottomans. All right, that's good. That means if I declare on Aragon, Hungary may not join. And Portugal may not join either. Oh, fuck me. Austria wants me to fight Ottomans. I really don't want to fight Ottomans. It's a defensive war, though, so I, I kind of have to join. Another heavy is done. Do I have any uh, exhaustion? No. Okay. Alright. What a waste of a war. Oh, but I'm, I'm allied with Hungary now. I'm allied with Hungary in this war, so Hungary cannot join against me. Now would be an excellent time to fight Aragon. It's true. Hungary, Portugal, and the Pope. Well, the Pope's got ten so Oh, the Pope's in this war, too? Hey, the Pope's in this war, too. So the Pope can't join against me. Is Aragon in this war? Nope. So I'd only be fighting Aragon and Portugal. Ha ha! Happy day! Gray skies are going to clear up. Put on your happy face. I would be fighting Naples, though. That's fine. Nice thing about Naples is if I can get any of this land, I can't because I can't court. But if I could get some of this land over here, that would be a great place to hop into the Balkans. All right, I think I think now we just got to get our maintenance going. Turn on our navy. Oh god, our navy's so expensive. We have all the claims we can get on Aragon. Now, I really wanted to go for Provence, but Provence will be there for a while, and he's going to be weaker. Whereas Aragon's not going to get any weaker anytime soon. How's the war over here going? Oh, wow. They're going to peace out soon. Alright, there's that stack of 10. Let's go pick up this 15 stack. Get to the Aragon border. Get to the Aragon border. Shh, don't tell them what we're doing. All right, here comes our dude. Dude! I guess we'll declare for something innocuous like Perennio. I check the fort map mode. He has two forts here. And none, yeah, through, one in his capital as well. Okay, so these are the three forts I really have to siege. The other fort here in Messina, I don't really need to worry about. Naples only has one fort. Okay, that's probably all I have to worry about. Now, how close is Portugal to saying no to this war? Portugal is nowhere near. Okay, so he's paid off some of his debt and his war exhaustion has gone down. Austria will join. Now, here's the important question. Do I want Austria in this war or do I want him in some other war? If I bring Austria into this war, he could fight Naples for me. That'd be the main purpose to bring Austria in. Um, I think I do. I think I do bring him in because it's early in the game. The next time we need him could be a long way off. All right, declare for Perennio. Go to war.
Portugal's in. But Portugal might peace out soon, I'm hoping. Pick up the army. Florentine school. Uh, it's a lot of money. Uh, 30 admin points. No, it's just too expensive. I did it last time. Right, because this lasts for a few years. Oh, it lasts for 40 years. Eh, do it. Anyway, walk down here. Group up the navy. It's eight heavies. How many ships are we up against? Four heavies. All right, we can probably take them. Where are the heavies being constructed? Oh, delete this fort, by the way. Where are the heavies being constructed? Okay, they're down here in Poitou, Gascon, and Narbonne. Okay. Then go over here to, to Gascon. Oh, I should put a, a sieging general over here. Well, there's my sieging general. You go over there. We've got to get these three forts down. I have a diplomat not doing anything. That's not cool. I think I should fabricate on Provence. If I take any more land in this area, it's going to be from Provence. It's not true. I do want to take these three provinces from Castile. But they can wait. Let's fabricate on Maine. Now, in the past, like when EU4 first came out, for instance, France started the game with cores on these two provinces over here. But they don't anymore. We don't get cores or claims or nothing. It's kind of like a kick in the teeth, really. Alright, Austria is in my war. Good, good. Oh, my other general died? Yes, my, my one siege general has died. Well, that just sucks. Do I want another general? I do, but I don't want to make my king or my heir into a general. They're too valuable. He's trying to group up a stack here, and I, I don't think I can really stop him. He's going to get like eight troops there. Well, maybe I can stop him. I can certainly challenge him. Okay, we got our claim on the Pope's land. It's cool. Can't declare on him, though, because we're allied in a war right now. How goes our relationship over here? Well, let's keep working on it. Oops. There we go. Can we switch this stack, please, with no general? Nope, he's going to get away. Oh, he has access through Castile. Well, that's just nice. That means I also get access through Castile. How quaint. How convenient. Look at him just spamming units. That should do. We should get a lot of war score for this. I mean, I'm assuming with all of this stuff siege, we'll get like 50 or 60 war score. Let's see if we can get Portugal out by blockading his capital. It's possible. Oh, Naples army is here. <laughs> Naples army's in Morocco. That's great.
Yeah, we're doing all right on manpower. That's the one thing I, I was concerned about was manpower, but it looks like we're okay. Even after a couple of battles, we're still fine. Welcome to France, right? Because if I can get down here and assert naval dominance, I can prevent them from getting troops home. Portugal, do you want peace? No. Okay. Can we engage one of these navies? Um, I could. I'd have to go out to the Iberian Shelf. And I think it makes more sense to go this way. Let's get dominance on um, the Mediterranean here. Because if we can have the Mediterranean block, blocked entirely, then that means they can't bring their troops home from Morocco. Actually, you know what we can do? Oh, the war's over. You know what we can do is we can start sieging up Naples and all these islands and shit, because they can't get their armies home. Yeah, they're stuck. All right, can we engage him before he gets off the boat? That's the question. Looks like yes. Hello, Portuguese army or navy or whatever you are. Nine heavies versus four heavies. We've sunk two heavies already. Um, do I want to continue the battle or not? I think I should. Am I about to lose anything? I think I am, but I still think it's worth it to stick it in there. That's what she said. This might be a good time to ask Portugal for peace. No, never mind. Well, hopefully we don't lose any heavies here. Nope. Nope, we're good. We sunk his heavies. We sunk his transports. We sunk that entire Portuguese fleet. We lost two trade ships. That was fucking amazing. Look at that. No Portuguese navy anymore. Ha <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's not true. He does still have one ship. One heavy. Alright. Alright, take the damaged ships out. And let me get access from Castile. One duck in a month, no problem. So we can just repair our ships right here in Mercia. Okay, can we get access over here? We do have the Emperor on our side in a war. Yep, there we go. We can just walk right in. That's great. Uh, let's go siege Naples. Why not? Okay, this is... No heavies, really. All right. Engage him. This is the Aragonese Navy. We lost a we lost a couple transports. I'm okay with that. Transports are cheap and quick to build. Oh, we lost a heavy. Ouch. Lost two heavies. Ouch. But that's it for the Aragonese Navy, I'm pretty sure. We gotta rebuild those ships, though. Ah, oh, we lost two heavies. Ouch. Okay. Oh, it looks like they're getting troops home this way. Look at this. Sneaky bastards. Oh, you motherfuckers. All right, well, I didn't even think about that. It's kind of a problem. So we're going to have to start fighting over here in Portugal, which is unfortunate, but them's the breaks. Okay, we're arriving in Naples. Good, good. 
How to claim on main. Interesting. You guys are done with your war. Okay, good. And he does still want to vassalize. Good. Yeah, he'd be an excellent vassal. So we'll kick Leinster to the curb. The fuck? Oh, England's over here. Fun. Oh, England's in this war? England's helping in this war. Are you allied to Austria? No. But for some reason, England is helping in this war. He might be the defender of the Catholic faith or something. I don't know. Whatever the case, Aragon's capital is about to fall. Need to rebuild our heavies as soon as possible. Ah, which means we probably should take some money from Portugal to piece them out. Okay, we arrived in Naples. Very nice. So the entire enemy fleet only has one heavy, four trade ships, and two galleys. That's all they have left. Whereas we're sitting pretty. Um, how many transports did we lose? A lot. We, we lost seven transports. Okay. We'll rebuild them then. It'd be kind of cool in the peace deal if you could demand their navy. Just demand some ships in the peace deal. That'd be awesome. I would love to have ships in a peace deal. Okay, walls busted in Naples. Very nice. There goes the capital. So why don't we... Let's get another general, because we've only got one. Oh, what a shit general. Whatever, it's better than nothing. What do they have? No general. Oh, they have a 0-0. Zero, zero. <laughs> it's better than that. Uh, let's group up, and let's go kick some ass. Oh, wow, we're a tech ahead of both these guys. Interesting. Is there a river crossing over here? Uh, Salamanca. So there's no river crossing from Leon. Oh, well, looks like we're going to Leon. Okay, our navy's back up to tip top shape. Good, good. Could go engage this Aragonese navy, but there's no real need, is there? Not really. No defensive bonus at all. Rolling a zero doesn't help, but we should still be all right. And again, from Portugal, all I really want is money. Oh, look at that. We crushed him. I want money so I can build a new fleet. Oh, wow. Burgundy full annexed um, Lorraine. Oh, wow. What's your coalition look like? Oh, it's only 44. Really? So Burgundy did not take enough land to get a coalition. I am surprised. And I've got two diplomats doing nothing. That's not good. I should really be looking at doing stuff with my diplomats. Oh, shit. Aragon's got an army over here. Unexpected army. Okay. Uh, he must have built them down here in Sicily. But once Naples falls, we'll be free to just wander around and kill stuff. Um, I should be using this diplomat for something. I guess we should get relations up with our allies. It's better than nothing. Yeah, we're still okay on manpower, about 6k in debt, which is fine. Can 
Kill the army. Siege all the things. Wow, look at this. Portugal took a whole chunk of land from Morocco. I didn't even notice that Portugal took all this land. Wow. Congratulations, Portugal. Alright, I'll need nine troops to siege this. So we'll take a few guys from here. If you could please finish Porto. There we go. Naples at zero with the walls busted. Should be no problem. We will siege Lisboa down. The rest of these troops, however, should be free. To go to um, Italy. And deal with this stack. And now that we have dominance in the Mediterranean, I should definitely siege uh, whatever I can down here and take some land. Because I would love to get a foothold in the Balkans just as soon as possible. And if we can make it work that like that. Like if we can take uh, Sassari or Cagliari or whatever. And then also take something like Calabria. Then that lets us start eating into the Balkans. We just got to get a foothold. That's all. Just something, something where we can start fabricating some claims, you know? Okay, we also need some more heavies. Well, there's the extra heavies. What else do we need? We're building four. We need some more transports. Okay. One more ducat, please. There we go. I like that. I like that we've got their entire army just trapped down here. Poor bastards. Ah, Naples has fallen. Great. All right, I think we're going to do something a little silly here, which is we're going to go attack this navy, and then we're going to come back. Sink the Aragon navy. He has no heavies. There's no threat. Goodbye, Aragonese navy. Oh, Portugal didn't even undock. I thought Portugal would at least undock. Oh. Alright, I don't think I need docking rights over here anymore. Cancel that. That's a ducat a month that we can save. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, how are we doing up here? 113. So all we gotta do is peace out vassalize him. Okay. He's still interested, right? Yep. Okay. Is he fabricating on Scotland yet? You bet you're at. Look at that. I mean, it's, of course he's fabricating on Scotland. He's even got a claim on Meath as his ally. He's like, I'll fabricate on my ally. Why not? All 
All right, see if we can get this guy out of the mountains. Right now he's standing in the only mountain province in the area. This is flatlands, this is flatlands. He's in the fucking mountains. Just get out of the mountains, dude. He's just standing there. I guess it doesn't matter if he stands there. I've got the only province with war score. That's Naples. So he can stand in the mountains all day. I don't care. I do have a free diplomat. How much money do you have, Portugal? 100 ducats? I'll take 100 ducats. That'll be two heavies. Marriage with Castile. Nope. I do have a free diplomat, though. Perhaps I should be fabricating on something. I don't know what, though. Mm, I guess I could fabricate on Anjou or Provence. I'll fabricate on Provence. I really don't want this land, but I'll fabricate. Whatever. No, 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 no. That's silly, because if I get caught, that's extra aggressive expansion. Fuck it. He hasn't lost his union yet. <laughs> he will. You know what? What if he loses his union? Does that mean I can separate piece Naples? Because that would be amazing. That eh, doesn't matter. Anyway, yeah, that is the end of the timer. So we'll have to finish this war next time. Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time for our BBB run. Have a good day.